It's interesting how you sometimes have to leave home before you can ask difficult questions. How the questions never come up in the room you grew up in, in the town in which you were born. It's funny how you can't ask difficult questions in a familiar place. How you have to stand back a few feet and see things in a new way before you realize that nothing that is happening to you is normal. We went on a pilgrimage, nine pilgrims for nine days, to Bankery and Aberdeen, Scotland during Holy Week. Why Aberdeen? Aberdeen is the site of the consecration of the first bishop of the United States, Samuel Seabury, in 1784. And one of the highlights of our trip was that we had the opportunity to use Samuel Seabury's consecration chalice from that very evening in 1784 in our Monday Thursday Eucharist. The trip began in Bankery, which is a small town outside of Aberdeen. And as the week progressed and we went into Holy Week, we moved from the safe pastoral countryside into the bustling granite city of Aberdeen. We had the opportunity to participate in cultural activities. That was my favorite. I think that was probably everyone's favorite, actually. It's such a good opportunity to get insight on culture, I think, if you're, you're able to participate in one of their cultural activities, as opposed to maybe just learning about it or talking about it. You're actually part of it for that time. We began every morning and every evening with our own prayer service and our own reflections, and we were able to do the Tyson House service in several unique Scottish locations. I know that many folks in the crowd were very moved, a couple moved to tears, and it was a really intimate worship experience. One of my favorite experiences from the trip was observing the vigil in the garden with Christ because it kind of gave us some quiet time in the cathedral to reflect in a very dark space at what would have been a very dark time in Christ's life. So it was really great to do that and then in the next morning without any sleep to go on long hike with the cross in silence to the top of a hill. It just kind of was a physical representation of what Jesus had done. One of the most memorable parts of my trip was going to see and tour Krathis Castle. Krathis was on the agenda before we even knew that I could trace my family back to it. It was amazing being in such a place and realizing that this is where my family was from, this is where I'm from, and feeling that connection with a place and with a people, even though it's so far away from Tennessee. I think it was important to go on a pilgrimage because it helped us just to kind of get out of our comfort zones and to just really seek God in a new place. It's not that we can't do that at home, it's just that it's easier sometimes to be isolated and to focus on God, and I think that's why the pilgrimage was important. 